This is Pastor Joseph with Life Family, and I want to bring you a little extra because it's the little things done consistently that make a big difference. So today we're looking at Galatians 5, 17 and 18. We're talking about the fight against flesh and spirit. There is a war raging in all of us. That is the battle between doing things that are spiritual, that are God honoring, and doing things that are human or flesh or carnal that appeal to our natural desires to fulfill our lust. Lust of the flesh, lust of the eye, and the pride of life. Those things are contrary to the spiritual things of God. The Bible says these two things are contrary one to another. And so we have to choose every day which one is going to prevail. How do we do that? How do we choose the right one? Well, the first thing we have to do is we have to make up our minds that we are children of the Most High God. Does it matter your temptation? Does it matter your human desires and where they may lead you? We all have to choose, today I am going to serve the Lord. I'm not going to give in to my temptations. I'm not going to give in to those things that will draw me away from God. How do we do that? By crucifying our flesh and our human desires so that we can arise in the newness of life in Christ Jesus. It's a daily battle. That's why the Apostle Paul said, I die daily. Yesterday's death to my own human desires won't do. Today, I have to choose to walk in the Spirit. That's why it also says in Galatians, if you walk in the Spirit, you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. So not only do we need to die to our flesh, we also need to choose to walk in the Spirit of the living God. What does that mean? That means when people come against you in flesh, you respond in the Spirit. That means when you see things that are wrong in the flesh, that you still react in the spirit. It's a lifestyle. It's a way of living, a way of thinking, a way of being. So today, I encourage you, choose to feed and choose to thrive in the spiritual man that's inside of you. The one that you feed and the one that you focus on is the one that's going to win. So give God your very best focus and your very best effort to follow after the spirit. God bless.